I'm an American. I'm an American. I am an American in the widest sense of the term, a citizen of the Americas. I'm as American as apple pie with uh, frijoles negro. By the year 2010, they project that the largest single minority will be Hispanic. The truth is, Hispanics are already the largest single minority group. Los Angeles is the biggest Mexican city outside of Mexico City. We're not trying to take over, although it is called Los Angeles. All the streets are named after Mexican. I mean, the history is here. The most popular name for new babies in California last year was Jose. Yeah, man. We could be neighbors. Would you like that? It's sort of interesting when people say that the United States is being overwhelmed by Hispanics and, or Latinos and this immigration issues. <laughs> no, not that. Oh, my God. They're going to be dancing. Do you like music? Good. Yeah, how about a Chicano for a neighbor? Liven up the neighborhood. Welcome to Dixon, Illinois, boyhood home of President Ronald Reagan, and the site of the 17th annual Midwest Lowriders Celebration of Culture. A lowrider is a customized car, and you can actually dance and jump like a bunny rabbit. It's a statement to the mainstream culture saying that we're not gonna have our car the same way that it comes from Detroit. We're going to change it, we're going to make it our own, and it's gonna reflect our identity. Being low means being cool, and being cool is very important. So you don't only just kick back, walk with a back stride, with your head up high, but your ride's gotta reflect that too, you know? You gotta get in there and have that same feel where you can just kick back and just sort of like nod with the music pumping. You're just out to impress. music, I'm thinking of my daughters most of the times. One is eight, the other one's 14. And I try to think of their hands or their feet, things that are very pure, their eyes. There's nothing more powerful in this planet than innocence and purity, nothing. I used to go to the store uh, in San Diego and we, I would just drool, you know, watching these guitars, you know, like Fender guitars, and, you know, some people drool for whatever, and I, I would just look at him and drool like, man, I wonder what's it, what it sound like, and what does it feel like, you know? And all of a sudden I heard, hey, you fucking chili mini pancho be a motherfucker, you. And I was a little kid, so I turned around and I said, they must not be talking to me, I wonder who they're talking to. And that was the first time I actually felt the sting of racism. And I really, for one, consider myself to be, uh, to be Hispanic. I call myself a Latino. I call myself a Hispanic. I'm Latina. I'm a Hispanic American. Hispanic, ugh. His, meaning history, Hispanic, Spanish. It's more of a term concocted by the federal government. On my applications for college and stuff, like, I really didn't like having to check just one box. Why not her panic? My name is Facundo Morales Segundo. Some of you may know me as the Barrio Tiger. I am the illegitimate son of Tupac Amaru, Pancho Villa, Doña Flor, Pedro Navaja, Sor Juana, and Speedy Gonzalez. Hey, you guys. 
these terms, uh, Hispanic, Latino, you know, they can be misleading because they lump a whole lot of very different people into one category. We're black, we're white, we're brown, we're red, we're Asian. Guatemalans are completely different than people from Brazil. You know, Argentines are completely different from Puerto Ricans. And this idea of lumping together, who wants to be lumped together? I mean, it's like you don't say, oh, you're European. Well, I never been to Spain. But I heard about Columbus Well, they say the man's insane, yeah Cause he thinks he discovered us In 49 too, who discovered who Here's how it happened 